Hi, my name is Ron Roberts, Jr., and I'm a corporate recruiter, and I'm also a self-titled workplace idealist, and I'm very fascinated by brands. And so in honor of Labor Day, I thought it would be fun to put together a series of short talks on work lessons based on iconic brands. And so for this talk, I wanted to focus on the Walt Disney Company and In-N-Out Burger. So the topic is be a workplace positive. And so um, many, many, many people <laughs> love Disney and they love In-N-Out. And I happen to like Disney, well, I love Disney, and I love In-N-Out because they are about creating positive experiences for people. And I just love that. Just creating experiences that are going to be inspiring, that are going to be fun, that are going to create happiness. And so I, I, I'm so into that because I consider myself a positive person and I like to have fun. Um, and so I, I like to translate this into the workplace as well. And so work is work. And so I you can't expect your workplace to be another Disneyland, another Disney World. Or so, but I think you know, as much as we can, if we can be workplace positives, we can help to create our own magic um, in, in the workplace. And so, um, I, I wanted to um, cover a few points from this article the top 25 qualities of a good co worker. Uh, so, being a workplace positive. So, number one, be energetic. A good co worker comes to work each day with an upbeat attitude. So, I understand that um, it's, it's tough sometimes coming to work you know, with energy and with a positive outlook. You know, we have things that happen in our personal lives or things happening at work that make it hard to you. But I just, as much as I can, I certainly encourage people to try to, you know, as much as you can to come in with a good attitude, you know, and to try to find whatever ways you can to, to bring your energy level up. It's just gonna make, you know, things better for your coworkers and your work environment. And if you find that you come in with energy and I mean, true genuine energy, um, then it's infectious, and then hopefully that'll come back to help you out too. So as much as you can, certainly to be helpful. And, um, you know, I think we do a great job of ingratiating people to us when we can help them in times of need. And so if you're in the habit of helping your coworkers, then you're definitely going to be a, a positive, and you'll find that that will come back to you too. Your coworkers will be more inclined to help you when you're going to find yourself in times of need. Kind-hearted. Employees enjoy working with someone who's generally nice and caring. That's a no-brainer. But I find, I personally find that being nice is underrated. You know, we tend to focus on, you know, um, being someone who can command respect, it's being smart, you know, being working hard. And those are obviously all good things. But I think just simply being nice, being kind to people, that easily and automatically um, helps to add positivity to a, to a workplace. And it's certainly being, being respectful. So just in addition to just being nice and kind of people, respect people too, as much as you possibly can. And I know sometimes people challenge us and it's not always easy to respect everybody, but as much as you can, try to respect a person for who they are. So respect them simply for being another human being. Respect their, their viewpoints, their perspectives, and you'll find that having that kind of attitude will help you to be um, a workplace positive. And so um, one of my favorite quotes, and this quote's by Maya Angelou, the late, great Maya Angelou, I've learned that people will, will forget what you said, people will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel. And so if you could be that person um, in your team, in your unit and department, just in your workplace, who can be that person that makes people feel good, man, what an awesome, you know, uh, opportunity. And so, once again, I understand that coming to work, it's, it's tough sometimes coming to work, you know, being positive and upbeat. And it's hard to do this every day, but I think as much as you possibly can, try to find ways that you can really add to your workplace versus subtracting from it. But you're just trying to be that workplace positive in your own way, in your own way, um, people will really appreciate that. And so, I um, wanted to conclude um, with some recommended articles, and there's lots of great information on the internet, but these are just starters. So seven questions good coworkers ask themselves regularly. 52 ways to be the most liked person at work. How to be a great coworker. The top 25 qualities of a good coworker. So I think much like in and out and Disney, if we can try to figure out ways in our own way that we can create a positive experience in our workplace, our workplaces will be better. And easier said than done, but I think it's all within each of us to find you know, our own strengths and our own ways that we can um, be in addition to our workplace versus a subtraction. It's a lot easier to be a subtraction. It's a lot easier to be a distraction 
but um, but it's much more worth it to find a way that you personally can add value and be a positive in your workplace. So I hope that you um, found some benefit in this talk and that um, when you're thinking about your workplace, you can think about what Disney's been trying to accomplish. You can think about what In-N-Out's trying to accomplish and just creating a positive um, environment. All right, thank you uh, for listening.